This program is designed to make sure students can handle a combination series parallel circuit. So the way this is going to work out is it's asking them to find the power dissipated in resistor 2. That happens to be the 790 ohm resistor. So hopefully students will realize that when they're analyzing this circuit, the parallel part of the circuit is in series with this R1. So what they need to do is get the combined resistance of this parallel part. They can get that by doing 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and then taking the inverse of that. That will get them the resistance total for this branch. The resistance total for the parallel part. They would add that to R1 and that would get them the total resistance for the entire circuit. Once they have the total resistance for the entire circuit, they could use Ohm's law using the voltage of the battery and the total resistance to get the total current. That will be the current coming out of the battery. Because there are no uh, branches, that will also be the current going into resistor 1. That current will then split up into an I2 and an I3 in accordance with Kirchhoff's junction rule I2 plus I3 has to equal I1 what they should do next is figure out the voltage on resistor 1 since they know the current in resistor 1 and the resistance of resistor 1 which is 850 in this case they could find this voltage once they have that voltage, they can apply Kirchhoff's loop rule and realize that as they go around the circuit, they're going to have to lose the voltage that they started with. So regardless of which of the two paths they take, they're going to have to lose 1.5 volts. So the voltage here will be equal to the voltage of the battery minus voltage 1. Once they have the voltage in this part of the parallel circuit, they could use Ohm's law again. They now have the voltage and they now have the resistance so they can get the current. That will be current too. They could then get the power by doing the voltage times the current. They could do this if they wanted to for resistor 3. They should find that I2 plus I3 will equal I1.